happy Monday, everybody. It's Kate at my Wayfaring Dream. I hope you can all hear me. I'm at my third day of physical therapy. Yeah, see, heat on my gift. View out the window. This is the week that I start going every Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. Today I feel good because I drove here instead of walking. Last week on Friday, I didn't film, I walked, and it made everything that's causing me problems really tighten up, and I was in a lot of pain. And I don't think PT went well at all. But today I'm feeling good. I took a nice hot shower before I came, so that always helps. And I just want to get this hip and leg and thigh back thing all loosened up because two weeks I've got my camping trip. Today I was going to let you all observe me meeting my new tent. Well, it's new to me. Paul bought it for us about probably seven, eight years ago, but we never used it. And so he does not remember whether it is a four-man tent or a two-man tent. I prefer a two-man just for me. I mean, I don't have that much stuff. I don't take up that much room. Though I need to lose about 30 pounds, I still don't take up that much room. But the only thing I know is it's made by Bass Pro and it's in a blue bag. So I was going to open it today, but we had rain all day yesterday. And today it's cold and windy and the ground is still wet. And why well, get it all wet and yucky, you know, beforehand. So maybe tomorrow um, you'll get to see me meet this new tent. I prefer, you know, a two-man tent and I prefer a pop-up because they're so easy. Just toss it out there and there you go. But I'm also doing this on a budget. And if I've already got a tent, then I'm going to use it. So I need to know to put it together before I get to the campsite. I've tried that before years ago. I camped a lot and went through a lot of tents. And, you know, it never is a good idea to do your tent's very first setup once you get to wherever you're camping. Because you could run into wind, rain, uh, be missing a pole, just not be able to do it. And it's just frustrating. So I want to make sure it and my new cot. I bought a new cot from Buyers of Maine. And it's uh, only eight inches off the ground. That way when I do put it in the vehicle, I can pile it with a pad and blankies and not be kissing the roof of the car. But it also uh, won't damage the tent. So you get to see me wrestle that too. Um, I heard it can be, you have to take some muscle to put it together, and God knows I don't have any arm muscles. We'll see how that goes. Talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.